Hello and welcome back to another character creation video. My name's Lumen and today we're having a look at Mir 4. Yeah, I don't know, it's a strange name. Okay, apparently it used to be called Legend of Mir, and it kind of made a little bit more sense that way. Now I look at it and because I've been on the internet for a long time, I see Mira. I don't know. But we're gonna tap the screen in just a moment and we're gonna have a look at the character creation in this game because I've been told it's pretty impressive. It's limiting in some ways, and you'll see exactly what I mean in just a moment, but it's also pretty impressive for what it is. Now, this game, as far as I understand, is a free-to-play open-world Asian fantasy MMORPG that can be played on both PC and mobile devices, hence the tap the screen right there. Uh, it seems like it also has a focus on PvP and story, which is an interesting combination. I don't know. We're going to jump in. We're here for the character creation, not so much here for the game. Let's have a look. Let's have a look. So, what I was saying before about it being limited, as far as I understand, and I think this sort of comes into play because of the whole story focus thing. I, I don't know if that's the case, but from what I understand, you don't get to pick the gender here. You pick your class from this list. And the gender is assigned based on the class. The warrior is a male, sorcerer is a female, Taoist is a female, and Lancer is a male. And that's that. It's an interesting system. I I'll, I'll say that. I don't know if this is the kind of thing that's going to please a whole lot of people, but it is what they chose to go with. Maybe this is how the original or earlier games in this series worked. I don't know. I didn't play them. Uh, I, I have a few people who told me that they used to play a lot of The Legend of Mirror 2 and 3. On private servers, on the official servers, just all over the place. Apparently it was a big thing back in the day. I don't know. I don't know. But I'm kind of keen to check the character creation of this one out. So, we're going to start with the warrior. A strong fighter who pulverizes enemies by wielding a heavy greatsword. As if it weighed nothing. Armed with sturdy armor and unyielding will, this fighter always leads others in battle. There's a little video over here. I kind of appreciate that, that you can sort of see what the character or the class looks like in action. I like that. I like that. You can also see what kind of game it is, if you'd like to. I also like the fact that you can play on mobile and PC. That's kind of sick. Uh, we're going to look at all the classes right now. Then we're going to jump in and customize. Sorcerer. Wielder of magic that destroys enemies with the power of the elements. Although very strong when fighting alone, she becomes even stronger when protected by allies. Yeah, so glass cannon, I suppose. Looks kind of good based on the video. I like it. Man, I really like the detail in the character models here. And the armor and stuff. Taoist. A truth seeker who helps others with her swordsmanship and spells. Her divine recovery skill enables her to overcome any difficulties in her path. So this might be the healer? I don't really know. It looks like most of her abilities there are, well, very much offensive ability. I don't know, man. I don't know anything about the game, but it looks sick. And I love the idea of a healer using a sword. That actually sits well with me. Then we have the Lancer. A tyrant on the battlefield who surpasses enemies with his long spear. Armed with a variety of skills that attack and defend simultaneously. He breaks the enemy formation and kills his target at all costs. It actually kind of sounds like the Dragoon from Final Fantasy XIV. And it's, well, as you can see, also using a spear. Interesting. Interesting. So, I think, not sure... But I think our customization on, on the two females and the two males will be similar. We are, however, going to jump into all of them just to have a look. Uh, because there are some armor styles and stuff like that that you can look at as well. Uh, that was just a brief overview of the classes. We're going to jump in and actually customize now. The controls here are a little bit difficult to use. They've once again been made for uh, the phones and iPads and stuff like that. And on PC they end up being a little, well finicky at times but uh, I, I made do I had a look and I, I made do so these are all ridiculously attractive young men as you can see here uh, even when they try and make them look like old men they are ridiculously attractive and still pretty young looking uh, there are some nice presets here though like they have good looking characters you can zoom in and have a look at the face this is the only thing that really changes when you pick these presets as you can see uh, which leads me to believe that you don't have much control over the body but I, I mean i don't know maybe they give you a default body and you're supposed to customize the rest we'll see we'll see in a moment when we jump in uh, there's some good looking dudes here there are some really good looking dudes here like it doesn't really need to be said uh, they also do seem to have all the uh, ethnicities present 
which is nice. It's like you, you can sort of make yourself look like yourself, if you'd like. Uh, I mean, the darker skin colors are not all that dark, I want to say, but maybe you can go darker if you actually customize it. We're going to have a look in just a moment. So, character can look at the, uh, at the camera. I, I'm not sure what this is. I think this might be undo and redo. Yeah, this might be undo and redo. Yes, it is. Okay. Customize and then dye outfit. The outfits we're going to look at at the end because you can actually sort of change how they look. Uh, but then the customization... Oh, this menu is difficult, man. It's really difficult. Like, uh, it's like... Like, this is like... It's just... Ugh, it frustrates me. I've created characters in so many games. This is probably the worst one I've, I've used so far. I just, like, it's here's a menu here. There's a menu there. There's a menu up here. There's a menu over here. It's like, come on, man. Come on. Come on. Like, really now? Okay. Hairstyles. We're going to start with the hairstyles. I actually like starting with the hairstyles. I, I always say that when you're making a character, one of the biggest things after your body shape and proportions is generally the hairstyle. It's sort of... It ends up defining the style of your character, so uh, it's it's kind of a nice thing to have first. It's good that people put that first sometimes, not always, but sometimes. Yeah, okay. I mean, these are all pretty basic styles. I'm assuming based on this, the fact that we only have these eight choices, that the warrior and the lancer styles are separate. So we're gonna have a look at the lancer, and, and hopefully they're gonna be different. I will I will remember. You know, I'll remember, but it looks like they're going to be different because this is not a lot of styles. We've got the color over here. You can pick a color uh, or you can, well, as you can see over here, you can you can do this first. The gloss. Let's zoom in and have a look at the gloss. Let's take a, take a dark color quickly. Uh, this one, brightness down, and then we can look at the gloss with this. I like that. I like it when they give this option. The brightness, it's basically like your hue and saturation sliders. Uh, if you turn it all the way up, then you get the brighter colors, and they do definitely provide all the options here. Like, you, you get everything. You can really mess around with bright colors. Like, sometimes games limit you, because they don't want the characters looking ridiculous. They don't want people looking like damn clowns. I get that. I get it when they don't want that. But I also kind of appreciate it when they do add the option for that. So the brightness and the gloss both sort of affect it in different ways. I, I like it. It's like the gloss sort of, it, it ends up looking like it adds some highlights. It doesn't ha add highlights, but it looks like it's adding highlights. Because it adds that extra layer on top. It's kind of nice. Kind of nice. Uh, let's go with something... It doesn't really matter, I suppose. Yeah, let's go with the red here. Half, halfway red. That's it. There we go. Then, head. Face. You get to choose the face shape over here. This is probably the, the, the biggest deciding factor on like how your character is going to look. Uh, you, you still get to change a few things here, but not a lot. It's like, these these are the styles. You know, you get the, the pretty boys, you get the rough and tumble guys, slightly more serious looking dudes, and, and that's that. You know, you do get to choose your skin color, and uh, well, there you go. I, I stand corrected. The dark skin color is most definitely dark enough. However, I feel like the skin gloss is not... Wow! What the shit? Yeah, um, yeah, I'm, I'm just made of oil. What the... Geez, I thought, I thought like, okay, why is the skin so glossy here? But then I turn that up and like, whoa! Yeah, feeling a little mercurial today. My god. Oh my... Yeah, okay. That, that, I must tell you that skin gloss looks a little freaky. Please do not... Please do not do that. It'll make me uncomfortable in the game. If I find you and you look like this in-game, it's going to make me uncomfortable. Maybe that's your plan. Maybe that's what you're going for. <gasps> okay. Uh, yeah, listen. Just color me shocked. I did not expect to see this. I didn't think I could make an alien. Alright. That's... Unexpected. Indeed. Uh, does that mean we can make like a red skin as well? Yeah, he's pink. What? What? Green? What? Okay. Yeah. I mean, I'm not about to complain. Again, I, I think that providing people with options is better than not providing people with options. Wow, who'd have thought? Who'd have thought? That's kind of sick. A lot of options there. 
Makeup. Pupil color. Uh, same thing. Same thing. I turn brightness up. I think we get all the different color. Wow, it's looking rather peachy here. <laughs> Jesus. Pastel city right now. I'm wondering if we're going to get some, like, variants here. Holy crap. Dude, they spared no expense on the eye colors. I hope you'll forgive me for not clicking on every single one. If I miss any along the way, I apologize. There are a great number of them, and I can't see which one I've just clicked on. I don't know where I am. I think I'll probably be okay by just going down this line, but I'm going to I'm gonna go on all of them anyway, just because I want to you know, see them all for completion's sake. Holy crap, those are beautiful eyes. My god. This man. That smoldering gaze, he could stare at me all day. Okay, so they don't give you everything, but they give you more than enough. It is actually like, it feels like they went for pastel colors here. Like, it's it's kind of weird. But when you do turn this down, then you get the deeper colors. But like, the, t the default colors that they give you, it's not like they gave you default uh, RGB, you know, 25500 or 02550. You know, they didn't give you those ones. Uh, they gave you something sort of in between. I feel like they wanted to be a little artsy with it. Did they hit the mark? I mean, no, but it doesn't matter. They did give us enough options anyway. So uh, that's kind of sick. Well, I mean, that's what I would go for, obviously. I don't know. I always make my character's eyes uh, dark as the blackest night. And uh, I'm, I'm usually happy with it. Okay. Eyeshadow. Intensity. Okay. Wow. No, I mean, this is kind of weird. Like, I, 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 I believe... It's like, it's not very much. It's around the eye over there. You can see it. I believe that they, that they really intentionally pick these colors... For, for, for some or other reason. Intensity is max. I can barely see anything. Maybe it's the... Maybe it's the face that I have on right now. Shall I just check a different face quickly? See if there's... Uh... Maybe it's the... Gloss? No, it's, it's just a very faint color. It's just a very faint eyeshadow. Okay. That's fine. It's fine. Whatever. Lip makeup. Oh, nice. Oh, yeah. I mean, you put the gloss on the lips. Yes. Lip gloss? That's a yes, dude. That's that's a yes. That's a yes from me, Captain. I'll take it. Glossy lips? That's cool. That's attractive. Man, woman, don't care. Shit looks good. I'll take it. Okay, same as before. Uh, you get to change the intensity over here. Nice, nice. Then you got a mole. I mean, there it is. Mole intensity. Oh my god, you actually just get to move it around? Okay, where's the most annoying spot you could put? You can put it on his down. Oh, there we go. On the ear. Can we go on the... No, we can't. On the chin. Where's the size? You don't get... To this is a very strange addition. What is this? Is it like a point of pride for the characters? Like, is, 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 does it have like religious significance is this divine intervention what is the meaning of the mole i can sort of almost make myself here because uh, you know i don't know right there it would have to be a little bit bigger i have a mole right there interesting i yeah you can you can have a mole that's you know that's there that's the thing and that's about it uh it's like we've 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 finished Oh my god. Uh, I take back what I said. We have not finished. Oh my god, yes! I didn't see this coming. Hell yes! They don't seem to allow you much customization under the hood. Yeah, but 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 this is nice. This is nice. Oh, I like how it highlights what we're busy changing. Wait, why did it do that? There it is. Okay. Shit, that's cool. Yeah, let's make David cool thought here. Get that Brad Pitt jawline going, huh? Okay, okay. Oh yeah, little little up. You want you want the definition there? Oh my God, the facial center. The facial center. Yep, I agree. Nod nod. Okay. Yeah, I mean, geez, he still looks like a pretty boy. I don't understand. I don't understand. Okay. This is super impressive, man. If, if, if this runs on mobile devices, this is super impressive. 
We got the protrusion here for the brow and the forehead. Kind of cool, kind of cool. What's going on? There we go. Cheekbones. Oh my god. Oh, jeez, man. This is the, the, I give my dog this massage. I put my thumb, one thumb, on either of my dog's on both the cheeks, and I rub it in circles like this. Pretty sure this is the thing, guys. Pretty sure this is the thing. Give this, give this massage to your significant other. Maybe try not to move the skin around so much. It might end up hurting if you press as hard as you have to press to make it look like you're doing this. But that's a good massage. Oof, there you go, guy. This guy's gonna thank me later. Oh, yes. Here we go. Okay, you can you can really go overboard with this, and I kind of dig it. I, I kind of dig it. I don't know why, but I'm getting like I'm getting like vague Elon Musk feelings right now. I, I don't know why. It's just like there's this it's this whiff of Elon Musk in the air when I when I when I start fiddling with this stuff here and this stuff here. I'm starting to think to myself, holy shit, how is this possible? Why does this guy look a little like Elon Musk right now? I'm sorry, Elon. If you're watching this, I apologize, man. Okay, the chin, the chin t sort of takes it a, a step away. He doesn't look like Elon Musk anymore. When you when you add the chin, yeah, not anymore, not anymore. Starting to look like a DBZ villain right now. Chin protrusion. Yeah, I mean, holy crap! They really, really, really do give you a lot of options to mess your character up here. They should not allow me to use these options. Bad idea, man. Bad idea. Bad idea. I should not be allowed, because look at this hideous monstrosity that I've made. <sighs> no, no, don't reset the customization. Uh, maybe I should, so I can see the... Yeah, I was about to say, maybe I should, so I can see the next set of changes. Okay. Oh, yeah. Dude, it's funny. It's funny how much this can change the character's, like, just uh, entire aura. It's like he's determined... He's, he's got his eyes set on his target. He's curious. He's wondering what lies ahead. You know? It, it's kind of interesting. It really is. And in the middle, this guy's not thinking anything. Nothing but air in there. Brow distance. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Okay. I mean, Jesus, guys. That's a little... That's a little... That's a little inappropriate. Angle. Wow! Hey, I know this actor. I know this actor. You guys know this actor too. I just don't know his name. I'm so sorry. Okay. Uh, no, go back. Sorry. I, I shouldn't do this. This is, again, this is inappropriate. Eyebrow shape. Oh, yeah. Okay. Jeez, man. They did not hold back. I know I have to do this again. Now I have to do this again. Wow. Yeah, man. That's like some raging bull nonsense right there. This guy. Wow. Can you even do the length? That's that's cool, man. I like it. I like it. I I, I really like it. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. Okay. Dim dim anime eyes. <sighs> wow. Yeah, that's scary. Pupil. Oh no! Oh no! Why would they do this? Oh shit! If you could do them like individually, that would actually be insane. Oh god, you can get googly eyes on. Oh no, dude. What the hell? Why would they give you this option? Oh, oh come on! Okay, eyelids? Crazy. This, this might actually be, this, this might honestly be the most detail I've ever seen in a, a, a facial creator. Like the, the character creation on its own, that's like someone's pulling it down. The, the, the character like as a whole, you don't get to change the body or anything like that. So like it, it sort of, it doesn't rate that highly. But like, damn, you really get customization over the face. This is crazy. The amount of like... Not so stuff you could probably do with this is is like right up there with the bests. And I want to mention I have not tried BDO yet. Apparently Black Desert is like the holy grail of character creators. I'll get to it, guys. I'll get to it. I'm working my way toward it. I'm it's sort of like 
you know, I, I'm currently in that in that s section of the show uh, where the filler is running, but you know that Vegeta's training, uh, training in the uh, in the, the the gravity chamber. You know, that's me. I'm training in the gravity chamber right now with all the different character creators so that I can take on BDO. That's it. That's me. I'm in that I'm in that training montage section right now. You guys are watching it real time. This is me training right here. Uh, you know, upturned nostrils, nostril locations. It's all part of the training, guys. It's all part of the training. Nose width. And when I feel like I'm ready, I will jump in. And I will be, I'll be a seasoned vet at that point. Yeah, yeah. Will I, will I need to take those weight plates off? You know, get ready for a real fight? I don't know. I don't know. We'll see, guys. We'll see. With PDO, there's a possibility that I will have to. Oh, yeah. Oh, this is beautiful. It's like you, you could look from here and, and, and you could think to yourself, yeah, okay, he's got, a, he's, got, he's got a large nose, nothing out of the ordinary, but then when you turn, you're like, woof. How did that happen, guy? Where did this come from? Are you half crow? What happened? Why do you have a beak on your face? Okay. Lots of different options here. Very impressive. Very impressive. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh no. Oh god. I love it. I love it. You can make like an otherwise flawless character and then you can just like smack those lips on him and you're like, okay man, okay. Oh shit, put it back to normal quickly. Lip shape. Oh, you can make those, like, little ooh-ooh-ooh lips. I, I don't know if that's what it is, but it's like those little cat... You know, it's that little face that people make sometimes. I really don't understand it. It's like, I don't understand what the, the, the meaning of it is. Maybe someone can tell me in the comment section, but, like, I don't get what it is when they make that little... It's like cat lips, you know? I don't, I don't know what, like, what are they trying to convey with that? That they're a cat? I don't know. Is it, like, some RP shit that I don't know about? Like, I don't know, man. I don't get it. But, but sometimes I like it, you know, sometimes it's, uh, it's nice. Any smiley face is good in this day and age. If anyone's, uh, chatting to me, that's good too. <laughs> anyway, okay, sorry. Uh, I, I, pro I have friends. Shit, of course, I mean, Jesus, like, yeah, what? Well, I, have, I have friends. That's it, we're done. Dude, that's really impressive. I ended up with a perfect looking character because once again, I played it safe. But, uh, let me just say... That if I had to just jump in here quickly and, and sort of like really boom, 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 you know, let's make the face lower. Then I could probably make something that, that would look absolutely ridiculous. Like you, you don't even want to know. You don't even want to know what like what kind of monstrosity you can create when you like really just pull these sliders up and, and you go willy nilly. You know, you don't you don't want to you don't want to overthink it when you're making this kind of character. You don't want to uh, put... Oh, that's what I'm talking about. There you go. Put too much effort into the uh, the design. Uh, instead, you just want to uh, sort of let rip. You know, that's a, that's like a, a little piece of advice. Me to you, guys. Me to you. It's like you were stung by a thousand bees. Just let rip. Just let rip. Let your heart and soul guide your hand. Uh, and, and make a creation. To be proud of the lips dude the, the lips are the cherry on top let's put it down at the bottom cherry on top of this beautifully crafted cake look at it look at it my finest creation my actual finest creation mm-hmm mm-hmm you want to see it from the side of course you do like what they allow you to do that in all seriousness? Yeah, apparently they do. Apparently they do. We're going to look at all the armors at the end. Okay? The armors and the uh, the poses at the end. Uh, we look at the customization first. I feel like it makes more sense if we sort of group everything together. They will obviously, needless to say, be um, some timestamps for you to sort of jump around with. I also want to point out that there's a button here uh, that that if you have a different hairstyle, it ties your hair into a knot. Now, I, I, you know, I don't quite understand 
the idea. Uh, but I guess it's just so that while you're busy creating your face or whatever, you can do that and then you can just jump back to it. I'm not sure if that's an option in the game as well, right? So you can do that. I don't know why, but you can do that. Again, we're going to jump into this stuff, uh, the, the die uh, on, the, on the outfits and then the outfits themselves and the poses afterwards. Right now, we're going to have a look at the sorcerer. It's our first female character. Now, I, I mean, I guess you, you, you could sort of be unimpressed, you could sort of be unhappy about the fact that you don't get to customize the bodies. Uh, I mean, with a body like that, I guess you don't really need customization, but if you want to be unique and you want to actually look a little different from all the other people out there, you probably want to do it, you know? You probably want to do it. Anyway, uh, let's jump in. Previews. Presets. Hmm. Uh, this is Selena Gomez. Is, um... Is that Megan Fox? I don't know. Just the face. The hair is not, obviously. I, I don't know. I, I actually read about this recently, and uh, I, apparently they do. Like, it's it's like a suspicion that I had for, for a very long time, uh, just because of, like, various games that I've done character creation videos for. And I read about it, and apparently they do base a lot of these character faces off of celebrities. Or just good-looking people. Models, uh, you know, uh, actors, actresses, whatever. Uh, doesn't matter. And... They, they sometimes, like, they, they just take sort of, like, a, a photo or whatever of, of, of them from a certain time. And then they and then they sort of half model the face after it. And then they just let it be. It's never exactly the same. It's always just close enough for the resemblance to be there. Uh, but not so close that it looks like an exact copy. And I dig that. I think it's a fantastic way of doing it. Uh, and it's a nice way to pay homage to, to people that you like. I just wish that they'd have some more, like, relatable celebrities like why can't my my warrior look like god damn i don't know jack black like come on wouldn't that be a dream come true okay i guess i'm in the wrong game for that right now but uh anyway let's customize uh this is kind of cool i like them we're gonna go the default one right now uh we will do the the outfits and stuff as i mentioned at the end let's have a look so these are the hairstyles once again not a huge choice not a huge selection uh but eh. oh oh I really like the short... I mean... Oh God, I'm sorry, guys. I have a thing for the short hair. I've always had a thing for the short hair. I like this hair a lot. I kind of I kinda like this outfit, man. Got a little wing in the hair over there. It's kind of nice. You got the little stabby, pokey sticks. I've watched enough movies to know that those are used for uh, for the neck, you know? You, you stick that through the neck of your... Of your victim. That's what you use them for. That's a nice little moon... That's, that's kind of, yeah. Okay, okay, okay. These are nice. I, I mean, I'm personally quite happy with the amount of short hairstyles. Nothing loose, by the way. Uh, so you can pick anything you want here, and then you can click this, boom, and it puts it back on the, on the, the tied up one. Don't know how that works exactly, but I, I personally like this hairstyle the most. Not that anyone asked, but there you go, I shared anyway. So I'll pick this one now, hair colors. Let's see. This is exactly the same as on the males, but obviously I will go through all of them uh, so that we can sort of see. It makes sense to go through all of them because, I mean, if you skipped straight to the females, you're going to want to see them. I don't want to send you to the male character creation just for you to see the hair colors. Once again, you can choose one and you can slide this up or down uh, to change the brightness. I'm not going to do that on every single color, but you can sort of use your imagination if you want. Or download the damn game because it is free to play. It's not even that big either. I think they were pretty efficient with this and, and like i mean efficient in like more than one way because like you you honestly you have a lot of visual fidelity here uh, for not that much size and again uh, mobile play that makes a massive difference as well it's kind of impressive that this is on mobile devices then again i mean genshin impact is on mobile devices yes it's a different art style uh, but still it's pretty impressive it only runs on the higher end mobile devices though i don't know about this one these are nice colors i i, I like them uh, they do once again have sort of a style that they're going for with the colors here, and I, I appreciate it. I wanted to say, and like, I, I sort of, I was I was sticking with that for half of the male character creation. I wanted to say that, hey, it seems like they chose correctly, and they sort of uh, guided players into uh, looking a certain way, but they didn't. They didn't. You can do literally anything. They didn't guide shit. It looked like they tried to in the first half of the character creation, but then they just let rip and when you can change your skin color to blue or green like this And you can like distort and and contort your face like crazy. Well, you know, then 
uh, all semblance of normality just goes out the window and you have uh, well this well not this but this you know what i'm saying okay so i mean i like the green here that's kind of nice i actually kind of like it's one of my favorite blues actually yeah this might be my wife's favorite blue as well i remember her guild wars 2 character having a similar color uh, let's see let's see what we got here faces huh okay 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 much more going on around the eyes here with bigger brows darker colors i kind of like that the eyelashes and stuff this is finer if you look it's finer everywhere definitely softer cool i mean it's not a huge selection and and it's not a huge difference in in like sort of style either i i, I gotta say a lot of like greeny looking skins if you just look at the colors here but when you actually select them they're not really green let's go let's go to the if we go all the way down, it's like, this is all just black, okay? You get to choose the, like, the background sheen, I suppose. I, I dig this, by the way. Like, I just, I just want to say that I really, really like the fact that you can sort of go drow if you want. And to be honest, I, I just want... It's just probably going to look quite good. It's probably going to look quite good if you go for a drow style. If you, if you sort of uh, make the eyes the right color, you go for that... Uh, what is it lavender purpley style of of eye you sort of change the face a little i mean you'd have to mess with the may it's, it's nice it's nice it's nice i like it i like it uh, obviously most people would sort of prefer this you know you get to pick the real colors here then again you don't know like i, I mean when i jump into games like this especially the free-to-play ones it does end up looking like a bit of a clown fiesta when you're in the game everyone's got like their blue and purple skins everyone's running around with uh, you know uh, bright pink hair. Uh, you could probably make a nice half orc here or something as well with this nice green here. I kind of like that. Yeah, yeah, definitely, dude, definitely. You can probably make a, a nice like snow princessy type thing here with like blue and white. I like it. I like it. I'm gonna go for a regular skin tone again so we can sort of see what's happening with the facial customization. Uh, you got the gloss again, much like we did on the male skin colors. It, it looks kind of impressive. I'm a big fan of the gloss. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. I mean, is it good? I, I, that's that's for you to decide. But it's there. I say it's impressive because, like, holy shit, man. That's some, that's some shiny nonsense right there. Uh, yeah. So you got to be careful. Use it with caution. Don't just go crazy with the gloss if you don't know what you're doing. I'm going to turn it down a bit so I can see the makeup a little better. I'm hoping that the makeup is a little bit more uh, intense here. It is. It definitely is. It's definitely more intense. Now, I, I realize only after the fact that you can make your, your like, eyelids bigger. So, if you want to see it more, you could make your lids bigger in the customization section of the face. And then you'd be able to show more of the color off, if you'd like. If you'd like. Uh, that's cool. You can obviously change the intensity here. Uh, that, that changes how much there is. Definitely more intense than the male version. It's kind of cool, I guess. Uh, but there's no, like, there's, I don't know. They have very specific colors here. I see there's no, like, whiter or lighter colors here. So it's kind of weird. Uh, pupil color, brightness. Let's see. Eye colors. This is the same as the male colors. I, I was sort of weirded out by the fact that they all look like pastel -y colors. But when you go down a bit further, then they they do change enough to, to make them uh, sort of more interesting. However... It is a certain style, that's for sure. Lots of detail on the eyes, like, wow, man. Those those fine lines there. I wonder how it looks on mobile. Huh. Obviously, there won't be this much detail, but I mean, like, it could still look nice. Okay. There you go. Nice. Uh, makeup. Blush. We did not have that on mail, did we? Hmm. Huh. No, I don't think we did. At least if I looked at this on mail, I, I sort of must have just jumped right past it immediately. I don't know. Let's put some pink on there. It's not very intense. Even when it's fully intense, it's not that intense. Lip makeup. Funny that they give the male all of the others and not give them the, the blush. I don't know. I do, I do find that a little strange. It's whatever, though.
It's definitely whatever. As in, like, it's not a big deal. That's what that means when I say it. I like the browns. I don't know, man. Like, I, I just, I like how the brown looks. And the black obviously always looks nice. But, hey, we're going to stick with, like, the pinky colors here for now. It's nice. It's nice. The gloss is there, too. It does not seem to do all that much. Interesting. Why not? Let's pick a different color. There's barely anything changing. Oh, I, I can see it, like, right there. Yeah, there it is. On the little, on the little corner there of the lip. Okay, okay. So it's there. It's just not that much. Fine, fine, fine. And then we get to choose the mole location. Wow, a mole. Let's put it away where we can't see it. Okay, because we don't need to see the mole. It's the same as on the mail. You can literally put it anywhere you like. You can, however, not change the size. So I'm not quite sure what they were going for here. Uh, again, I feel like it has some significance. Maybe, maybe it gets, like, referred to in the game somehow or for some reason. Anyway, here comes the interesting stuff. Here comes the interesting stuff. Face shape. This is 0% face. This is 100% face. Guys, just learn, learn, please, to, to distinguish between the two. If your face looks like this, I'm sorry to say you're a 0%er. If you are in this range over here, you are a 100%er. Congratulations. Y you've, you've won? question mark i don't know man i don't know why it's zero to I, I guess you needed to put something on here no you know what maybe i didn't need a number there or maybe you do because you need to refer to it like you know oh that's minus 100 oh that's plus 100 okay i guess funny how much that actually changes how the face looks a lot by the way a lot it once again messes with stuff it's like Honestly, with, with a lot of these settings, you change one little thing and you think to yourself, Oh yeah, I'm being, I'm being creative. And then you look at it in the character creator here, and then you're okay with it. And you're like, okay, yeah, man, I'm going to stick with it. And you jump into the game and then boom, you realize your mistake. You actually had no idea what you were doing. <laughs> I'm not even kidding, by the way. It's like super common. I do it all the time. I do it all the time. I'm, I'm like, hey, I'm being so smart. This is so creative. Oh my God. God, yes! I'm unique! No. No. No, I'm an idiot. I shouldn't have touched that slider. That was forbidden. Okay. I dig it. Cheekbones. Oof, there's that rub. Put your thumbs on the face. Rub it around. Like this. Rub it around. Yeah. I've seen people with cheekbones like this. High cheekbones are, are very attractive. I want to say if done right, but like, you know, it's not like you have much of a choice with that. You know, you, you have them or you don't. Uh, they can look good is what I'm saying. In, in the male's case, these cheekbone pr protrusions, they can either make you look like Elon Musk or not. Yeah, I mean, that's what they do. You can make your character look really gaunt. You know, I, I went with a character and I, and I dragged everything on the male side to the top. You know what we're going to do the female? So we're going to do both ways. We're going to, we're going to check what the, what the bottom looks like. Like if I go all the way to the bottom. It's like you, 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 you basically flatten, flatten out at the bottom and you like removing everything. She's going to have like no features. I dig it. I dig it. I don't know. Every time I change something like this, I'm thinking Simpsons or Futurama. That's what comes to mind. They always do ridiculous stuff with with the with the jaws and the and the protrusion and the chins and stuff like that. Okay, let's move on. That was chin protrusion. We're gonna go onto the eyebrows now. Boom, 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 boom. Once again, big change right here. Important sliders. These really important. These are really important. You can go to like from like angry to like sympathetic. Oh, oh, oh. Ah, oh, you know, easy. Eyebrow shape. Oh, okay, sure. You know, like a half moon there. Ooh, I'm not sure. I'm, I'm like really happy with how they do the thickness because, like, you know, you, you they're just stretching the texture. They're not really, they're not really adding more hair. Can't we see the hair rather growing dynamically there? Yeah, this is good. I'll actually leave it like that. I, th I think, wow, I think I made a choice that I'm actually happy with. Insane. Insane. 
Yeah, I mean, this is forbidden. You, sh you shouldn't mess with these. You shouldn't mess with these, dude. Forbidden. Forbidden. This is fine. This is fine. And the eye size, like, you can go to a certain point either way. Uh, this makes you look like a bit of a plate face. Flat. Round. Let's leave it like this. This is beautiful. Yes. Jesus. Yeah, this is fantastic. Actually fantastic. Uh, at least here you get to sort of... I'm making a mistake, aren't I? Okay, let's just let's just go all in on the mistake, okay? Let's go all in on the mistake. We 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 open in the eyes. We are opening the eyes. There you go. This looks like I've got her in a torture device of some sort. You know what she's looking at right now? Her eyes are being held open and she's watching a Tales of Lumen character creation video. It is pure suffering. Indeed. She knows true pain right now. True pain. I'm sorry, I'll reset it, guys. Oh god, now they're here! I'm sorry, I know you didn't want to stare at that. Even though I... I you know, what can I say? I created the pinnacle of absolute beauty. Uh, I, I, I'm sorry. It, it, might, it might be too striking for you to look at for an extended period of time. Oh wow, you can actually remove the nose completely. I swear I've seen this nose IRL somewhere. It exists, guys. Ah, there you go. Nose options. Width. Yeah, you can really do some bad stuff here. Although these ones are less, it's like sort of more muted if you do the wide options. If you go, if you go skinny, that's crazy. We're gonna do that, by the way. Like I said, with the males we went wide, with the female we're gonna go skinny. We're gonna see what we can do. There's so many options, like, what? Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. When your nose has its own personality and it can nod along with conversations. Yeah, you guys should practice that as a skill. It's, a, it's You think it's a cool party trick, but no. Give your nose its own personality. It can stand in for you from time to time. You know, if you're not up for it, yeah, someone can take your nose out to dinner. You can just sort of tag along for the ride, not participate in any way. Your nose can take it from there. Okay, the mouth stuff, yeah, it's also a pretty big deal. It's it's the same options as male, exactly, for anyone wondering. You don't really have, like, you can change it. You have enough options to make it look nice and the way you want it, but if you go too far with any of them, you, you sort of, yeah, you, you risk you risk making your character honestly look kind of, what is this, like, are we, are we making a, an actual, this is just a mouth breather, guys, that's it. We can squash them closed like a little too much. Okay. That's it. We are done. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull them all closed. This is it. We're going back the way we came. Brace yourselves, guys. What happened to that mouth? Jesus, that's like a scene from a... Oh my god. What is that even? I look like the Grinch, actually. If I make my color green, that would look fantastic. Let's make some little pig eyes. <laughs> Shit. What is this? What am I doing? Like, this actually looks terrible. I... Yeah, this is not meant to be. Like, this is really just not meant to be. You you should not be allowed to do this. They should stop me. Why have they not stopped me? What is this? What is sticking out there? Is that her jaw? Are those her teeth? Okay. Okay. That's the stuff of nightmares. Allow me to scroll up, please. There we go. Oh, yeah. Let's just change the hairstyle. That'll fix everything. Green. Skin color. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. 
guys. This is actually the stuff of nightmares. What happened? I can see her bottom teeth sticking out her, her jaw here at the bottom. Like, and what, their eyes are just closed. Her nose is like a little paper-thin wafer on the front. Dude, what is this? I love it. I love it. This is true beauty. Okay, let's go back. I never want to see this again. Restore. Okay. Hey, welcome back. Nice to see you. So now comes the moment of truth. We're going to have a look if the Taoist is exactly the same as the Sorcerer. Okay, so we've got a long wavy here. We've got a, a tied back ponytail. Let's see. They're different. Okay. Interesting. That That's different at least. So Taoist. Let's see. It, it might just be the presets though. We're going to have a look. Oh no, the hairstyles. What the hell? Looks like the Taoist hairstyles are... far more like showy they have a lot more stuff in their hair they have a lot more stuff in their ears let's have a look Elsa dude yeah they all seem to have more stuff you know like look wow look at the length that's kind of cool I love this robe as well Definitely unique hairstyles. Okay. Hair colors. Ah, okay. I, I was like, I was about to say, yeah, there's something different here. I'm not going to go through every single one. Uh, I, I will show you here that, as you can see, the, the jewelry and stuff doesn't change color when you uh, change the hair colors. And, and if you clicked on Taoist... And you want to see all the different female hair colors. I will refer you to the previous one on the Sorcerer. She's got everything there. This is pretty though. It's really pretty. I like this. But it is the same. It's definitely the same. Uh, then in terms of these options, they're all going to be the same. Uh, the hairstyles were different, like I said. But these are all going to be the same. Uh, these are all going to be the same. And I, I think that, once again, we don't really have to go through all of those. We should probably not. That would be a waste of time. Uh, because they will be the same. However, obviously, to, to get this face, uh, they modified things a little differently. Uh, you can see that when you pick the, the first face, the, the, the initial, like, uh, style for your character here, then generally, uh, most of these settings are, like, kind of closer to the middle. And they, and they, or is that not the case? No, maybe it's not. Huh. Wait, so the faces and stuff are different. Oh, definitely. But it's again, it's just different styles that they went for within the creator's uh, limits. I love the sword, dude. That is kind of sick. Okay. So, again, there's going to be unique armor and stuff here. Uh, we're going to look. And you can do things like this, which we'll look at as well. Don't worry. Uh, we'll look at the armor. We'll look at the poses. We'll look at all that stuff in just a moment. We're first just going to go jump into the Lancer and we're going to go look if he's got anything unique. I do not think he's going to be much different. There will be different presets. So the most important thing, uh, I guess, in this situation here is the fact that you get different presets you can choose from. You can make your character look a little different, a little more unique, I suppose, a little bit more like a Taoist. Uh, but yeah, it's, it's much the same. Lancer. Oh yeah. Oh, okay. Okay, for sure. Like, these are vastly different. Hairstyles are also different. Oh. What? That's with the hairstyle, I take it. Huh. Or the face, I suppose. Yeah, it's probably with the face. There's a, there's a cross. That's oh, the face. It's the same face, see. They just modified it. Well done. Well done. Subtle changes make a pretty big difference. They only used that, that weird lightning uh, scar one once, I see. They used this one a bunch. But they only used that one once. Let's see if we can find that one. So for, for the Lancer presets... Ooh, cancel, cancel, cancel. Customize. Let's see. Let's just change the hair to something some more uppy. Oh, okay. These are nice hairstyles. 
Okay, so Lancer definitely has its own hairstyles too. Uh, there's a ponytail. That's a Geralt of Rivia style, isn't it? Short hair. Hmm, I like this one. Comb back short. This is the more like popular, it's like a soccer player hairstyle, you know? Geralt of Rivia, I'm pretty sure I had this uh, hairstyle on my Witcher playthrough. It's the bed head. Nice. Sort of combed back, slightly longer. Uh, colors and stuff, all the same here, I can guarantee you that. Uh, nothing too crazy or f fanciful that's different. Uh, what we're looking for here is the faces, yeah. They all look more angry, more determined, more, uh, you know, upset with the world. I, I dig this one though. I really like this one. I think it's kind of nice. The effect that they have there on the side of the face is kind of sick. You can make yourself look a little menacing, you know, if you want to. A little, little bit menacing. A little bit. Well, if you want to look menacing, don't go for the green skin. It's not so menacing. Just a little tip from me to you. Uh, the rest of the stuff will be the same. I can guarantee you that. Uh, so what we're going to do now is we're going to go back and again I've shown you all the presets here and I've shown you all the hairstyles. That's the two things. Oh, well, it's presets, faces, hairstyles. That's it. Uh, and now we're going to go back and we're going to look at the armor styles. We're going to start with the warrior. We'll also be looking at the poses. I do not know if they're going to be unique. I don't know if they're going to be different. I don't know if they're going to be anything fancy or special. But you get to change the colors of your armor and it's it's kind of cool i had actually looked at this before and to be honest i was very impressed by it now i don't know how how much or how often you actually uh, sort of modify this in the game but they give you a lot of color options like before you know in the character creator they they sort of limited you with what you could choose uh, but in this there's no there's no real limit they they, they give you every color under the damn sun uh, you can with these combinations here uh, you can either sort of do what you want by just picking the color or you can slide this up and down and, and make something slightly different uh, it's yeah you know what I find kind of weird is that on all the other customization menus when you move this it changes all of them in this it just changes the one it's really weird not that it really matters but like oof, I like that it looks golden I'd actually like to see what it looks like all black everything I'd also love to see a, like a bumblebee style, yellow and black. Green is nice. Dude, all of it this just looks good. This armor looks good in any color. Let's check what the blue looks like. Oof. You know, you'd think that this would cheapen the style, but it actually looks kind of nice. Although, ah, uh, this starts looking a little tacky. And that that's too, that's too the, like the saturation's too high. The, 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 the color's too intense there. You know? Is there like a silver here somewhere? Oh, that's nice. Very nice. Is that the black? Wow. That's dark. Hmm. That's gold, right? Is this silver? It might be. I'm sorry, I'm bad with colors. I'm enjoying this, but I'm bad with colors. Black, dude. Okay, so that's the primary color. Uh, let's pick the gold here. Secondary color, that'll be the cape, right? Oh my god. Yeah, man, that's sick. Like, that's just really nice. Now, I don't know, I'm not very good at this kind of thing, but I guess, like, I'd, I'd want to, like, have either contrast or some matching colors. You don't want to go, like, on opposite sides of the spectrum here uh, with this kind of thing. Like, I think I would go with, like, a gold and a black. That, but again, I might not... Maybe gold and green looks nice together? I don't know. I'm not, I'm not the greatest. Gold and blue I know looks good for the alliance and all that, you know? So, like, you go gold and blue. That's sick. Like, wow, that looks kind of nice. Yeah. You can go for like a nice alliance blue as well if you want. Mm, mm, mm. This looks good. This looks good. I like that it keeps the pattern on the back looking good too. Cool, man. Wonder if I get to customize every single one. I'd probably want to just click on them and then randomize a bunch. 
think that makes the most sense. I'll do that with the, with the future ones. Because, like, we've now seen all the colors. And if I randomize a bunch, we'll get a bunch of really good, like, distinctive styles. I like the white. The white and the black. Let's, let's go black on both and see what it looks like. Too much. That's too much. Let's go for, like, a silver or white on both. Something like that. Nice. Nice. Okay. Select recommended colors. Oh, okay. Whoa. Oh. Oh, wow. Yeah, we can look at the recommended colors on all of them for sure. That gives you a couple of like really nice. Oh, yeah. These are pre. These are. Dude, this is nice. Pre-selected colors that will look good. The armor designers probably selected these colors and they said, hey, these are the ones. They put some like crazy ones in there and then they put some muted ones in there and they just basically got a good selection. That's nice, dude. Hell yes. Random dies. Ah, oh, but come on, man. Even the random dies look good. Okay. Okay. Nice. Alright, preview. Does that get to... No. Okay. So you just get to look at the armors. You die it, but you look at the preview, the preview is locked. These are nice armors. Is that like a zebra skin cape? Okay. Oh, shit, dude. That is huge. Look at that. Look at the mane on the back. The twin cape is kind of nice. Seems like the sword isn't really changing, unfortunately. Uh, but these are nice armor sets. Yeah. That's nice. That's nice. Uh, the poses, I'll look at them all together at the end. I, I think they, they, they're they going to be different. So I'll, I'll just put them all together at the end. <laughs> okay. Yeah. I dig this. I dig this. Let's look at the next one. Sorcerer. Yeah. Dies. We're going to do the recommended ones. Wow. That changes it a lot, huh? That that really that really throws it into uh, a different light. Like, your character just looks completely different. Yeah. Lots of bright colors here. Lots of nice, like, striking differences. That's kind of sick. Random dies. I'm going to look at a bunch of random ones, so we can just get a good idea for how they look. Mm. Yeah, this one, it really does give you nice bright colors. Okay. Preview. Ah! Uh, ah! Uh, okay. I I'll say, like, these are nice. Okay, as like a caster, yeah, these are okay. These are okay. But I, I, I think that the, the, the differences between this and, like, the plate ones, oof, man, the plate ones are just so much nicer. Like, the, I don't know, maybe it's just personal preference to me, but, like, these are all very similar, whereas the plate ones are quite different. Yeah, it's probably just me that thinks that. They're nice, though. They're nice. Okay, these are different. We'll look at the poses at the end. Well, different. I mean, they look different because they're different characters. Okay, that's nice. Uh, once again, your colors are sort of like they the same as on the other ones. There's a lot of colors. Basically, every color you could want. It's nice. It's good. Taoist. I'm I'm most interested in this. I think. Like if I had to come in here and pick a class, I'd probably pick the Taoist. Do I want to be a healer? I don't know. I don't know. But like I like the sword. It's pretty shiny here on the front. It's nice. Hmm. It's cool, it's cool, it's cool. It's like the closest thing you're probably going to get to a robe in this game, right? This set the back here. Probably the closest thing. Okay, recommended colors. All white. Yeah, why not? Eh, I, I think that the, the armor colors on the plate also sort of matched better. These sort of, these are just different colors you know it's, it's, do they work as well together i don't know maybe it's limiting because of the amount of trimmings and stuff that this has so like whatever you pick oh this is nice i like this one whatever you pick ends up looking slightly less uh like it fits previews oh here we go okay see there's like i mean these two are kind of similar but like there's like a nice difference that's kind of nice that's kind of nice yeah okay i prefer these definitely to the sorcerer ones Definitely prefer these. I like that one a lot. I'd love to see the different colors and stuff, but yeah. 
Lancer. I wonder what he's going to look like. This is actually kind of interesting to me. Die outfits. Random dice. Let's go. This outfit's incredibly boring. Like, I'll just say that. It's, compared to the other ones on the other classes, this one's incredibly boring. Uh, it's... Uh, you know? I would have liked to have seen different weapons as well. Okay, recommended. It's just the most plain and straightforward of the of the outfits. Which, I mean, it's not a problem. I mean, maybe you should just know what you're getting into with this. Cool. Okay, previews. Ooh, they should have led with this one. I wonder if that's the highest level one. It actually just looks like a straight upgrade to this one. Well, not straight, but like, it just looks better. Okay. Yeah, I dig that. I like the little bit of the chest that's showing there. And I like the feathers around the neck. The boots are kind of sick as well. Again, it would have been nice if we could have seen some like different uh, weapon options. Alright. Poses. I don't know if I'm even like, I might be wasting time with this. But let's have a look. These are the warrior ones. Arms crossed. Arms at the side. Flexing his wrist. Arms crossed. Arms at the side. Flexing his wrist. Okay. Let's see. That's interesting. You can obviously combine this with a different outfit if you want. Okay. Sorcerer. Boom. Boom. Yeah. Get over here. No, 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 it's not really get over here. It's more of a, like, seductive. Oh, oh, wow. Okay. Yeah, I mean, Jesus. I guess they know their audience. Wow, they all, they all kind of, yeah, okay. They all, they all a little provocative, I suppose. Okay, I mean, sure. Sure, there you go, sorcerer ones. Hers are going to be slightly more, like, uh, reserved, maybe, is the word I'm looking for. Oh, yeah, okay, oh my god. Yeah, so they, they sort of went for the stereotypes here. I mean, at, le at least with that one. Sword is in different positions. No, it's the same position. Okay. I mean, that's still the coolest. The sword being held back like that. And Lancer. The final check. Pose. Okay. Yeah, he's just shifted his legs around. Oh, wow. Yeah, that's radical. He's doing the uh, flaming flamingo tree tree po No, it's like flamingo or something. I don't know. Oh, oh, now he's pensive too. Interesting. Okay. Yeah. Well, that's kind of cool. I like that you can do this. I I don't know. Like it, this must be an emote in the game or something like that. Again, I don't know much about the game itself, but like you can't pick one and then keep that one because as you can see when you come back here, it's uh it's gonna throw you back out. But there you go, man. Uh, mirror four. All the different characters, the Warrior, Sorcerer, Taoist, and Lancer. That's the customization. I'm very impressed by it, like the facial changes that you can make. You can do some pretty interesting and unique stuff there. I mean, you must keep in mind, these are all humans. That's why we only had to really do the Warrior and the Sorcerer for the, the, for the full package. But, you know, given that they're all humans, you still have a lot of interesting options there. You can make them look slightly more or less like humans you know and you have a lot of options to look unique even though you can't change your body shape even though you can't really change your your sex on the uh <clears throat> different well classes that you pick you can still customize yourself fully uh, i i did realize that the one thing that that sort of stood out to me was definitely the fact that you have no real control over like beards or facial hair or anything like that that's just not a thing uh, you choose your face the face has some hair or it doesn't and that's that you know that's that uh, it's okay it's a system, you know, it's an interesting system, uh, it definitely works and it has something for everyone, I suppose, everyone that's going to be playing this type of game at least, and that's that. Yeah, so I was kind of impressed, it's just well done. You guys can let me know what you think about the character creation and customization system, tell me which one you picked of these, and uh, are you happy with how your character looks? I, I, I kind of think you can make a decent character here, and let me know if you're playing the game and enjoying the game. I always like to hear about the games that I did character creation for, uh, because... You know, if, if you guys tell me, yeah, this is great or, or, you know, this is trash, it helps me decide whether or not I should actually check the game itself out and not just, you know, leave it at that with the character creator. So, thanks for watching as always. Give this video a like, share it and do all that good stuff. Check back here soon for more. Most importantly, enjoy Mirror 4 or The Legend of Mirror 4.
Happy that.